Spiritual energy is, is a very intense thing. And the thing is that we also, because most of our time we are used to, uh, to, to far more superficial levels of reality, of handling reality, that we are, when we meet with intense spiritual energy, Sometimes it makes us highly energetic. We cannot sleep at night. We feel, we feel completely overjoyed. We, we are, we, we are, the energy is just vibrating inside us and the, and it, it, it is blissfully crazy. And sometimes, sometimes we feel that, that we, that we, we can't hold it. It is, it is just too intense. And, this is perfectly normal because what we are meant to hold, to conduct, is a tremendous thing. To be able to mature our subtle nervous system, to be able to hold the light in an uninterrupted way, in a way that, that you, you are never asleep, basically. You are always awake. Could you imagine that? Always being awake, never falling asleep, not falling asleep into your thoughts, into your emotions, never falling asleep into your regular personality, always being a flame. When I started the spiritual journey, I remember it was so exhausting to try to hold intensity for more than a few minutes. After that, you feel, it's like you give your f full five minutes and then you say, okay, now I deserve some hours, some careless hours. Now I want to be mindless, indifferent, apathetic, <laughs> and be just completely dumb. And <laughs> this is because we are, our nervous system is not used to it. The brain is not used to it. So five, even five minutes of complete uh, presence feel overwhelming. We need co to compensate after that, to do s silly stuff or to, uh, to play around. So that is natural. Then we begin to grow from five minutes to perhaps 15 minutes to perhaps one hour to perhaps two hours a day, three hours, four hours. As long as we continue to grow, that is perfect, you see? So it's not resistance. If resistance is, is, the, is the signal that your Saturn nervous system sends to you, sends you, telling you, okay, we can't hold it anymore. It's, it's just too much. It's, it will, uh, uh, you don't want to break, you see. We need always to push it a little more. Do you understand? Always, never, never stay in a comfort zone. Never stay, feel that, that you are doing exactly as you are capable of. Do you, do you understand this point? Because if you just do exactly as it feels perfect and pleasurable, you will never grow. You always need to add a little more strain, a little more to push it. So in this retreat, perhaps there is, there is a point in which you are feeling, oh, this is already too much. Can, can you stop talking this, this person on the, on the chair? Or... Uh, <laughs> or not another meditation. How can I hold another meditation? Again, as long as it doesn't feel like breaking, but, but a little more, it's just like a, a physical exercise. If you f do physical exercise exactly according to your capacity, your body will not build, you see? It will not be able to build, to grow, to, to, to become stronger. So you always push, you add more challenge. Okay?